The Great Base Initiative, Chapter 2, Lesson 8, The Underspin Backhand. We stay away from the word slice because slice makes people think, from our experience, that they're chipping, chopping, hitting downward. The two-handed player, for example, is going to be forced to hit the one-handed backhand, but it's a great tool. So we consider the one-handed backhand to be a basic shot. Let me show you a picture of it. I'm going to start the ready position. I'm going to turn, change my grip. I get more than sideways to stay sideways. I still keep the backhand grip, right side of number one, the base knuckle, right side of number one. I'm going to open the racket face by tilting my arm. Typically what people do is open the racket face by using grip number two. So I'm going to turn, it's going to be toss, catch, separate, hit, hold in this position. Like all the shots, I want efficiency. The least amount of movements, the least amount of muscle recruitment, I want a long hitting zone. I want to hit away from my body. I want balance. Let's let Mark demonstrate. He's going to do the same thing. Ready position. He's going to turn. He's going to drop the ball, catch, separate, hit, hold. Notice how he keeps his eyes down, the racket's at an archway in this position. This is what the bride and groom walk under at the tennis wedding. Hand to hand forms a line and he's sideways. All right, one more time, ready position. He's going to turn. He's going to lead in with the bottom edge of the racket. More than sideways to stay sideways. When I drop the ball, I'm going to drop way out here so his arm and racket become a lever. And he swings out to his target. Great how he breathes out. One more time. Okay, he's going to turn, change the grip, lead in with the bottom edge of the racket, stay on balance. Give me the high five. Great job.